Kayaki. Welcome to another video. So today we will be adding another video to our techniques in biology playlist. Now these videos are dedicated specially to your competitive exams like the CSIR, NET and GATE. Mostly we have tried to discuss the part C questions here. So if you want more such videos, please definitely subscribe to my channel. And if you need me to explain any other topics, do let me know in the comment section down below. So now, without any much further ado, let's get right into this video. So for this... This particular video, we are going to discuss about the knockout mice and how to select for the knockouts. There is a method called as a positive negative selection, which we are going to use. Firstly, what do you mean by a knockout mice? Now, say, suppose you have a gene A. Okay, and you do not know the function of this gene A. So essentially, what scientists do is they delete this gene A and they observe the effects. Okay, so if the gene A is not there, what will happen? That kind of study is done, which will give you some idea about the function of that particular gene. So deleting a particular gene to know its function is essentially what is knock out. Okay, so knock out is deleting a gene. So what is knock out mice then? A mice that has a particular gene deleted whose function has to be studied. Okay, now how do we go about deleting this particular gene? So here is an example. So let us focus on figure A first. Now, figure A has the chromosome. So, say this is the mice cells chromosomes. Right? So, one of the chromosomes is shown over here. And you have a gene over here that you want to delete. This has to be deleted. Okay? So, what we do is we take a vector. Right? And we add the gene here. The target gene for which we want to exchange this gene. Okay? So you want to delete this means you want to remove this particular gene. So in the vector, you will add some kind of gene that will disrupt the function of this or that will remove this out. Okay. So this is the particular chromosome and the vector and the target gene is the one that you want to disrupt. Okay. So as you can see now that this particular gene will be deleted if there is homologous recombination. Now, the first case is where there is non-specific integration or you can say it is an integration in some other site, okay, not the site of interest and B is the site-specific integration or it's the homologous recombination. Above, you can write it as non-homologous recombination. So we are considering two cases, homologous recombination happening and non-homologous recombination happening. Now, first we'll try to see what non-homologous recombination has. So as I told you, there is a gene here on this particular chromosome that has to be deleted. Now, in this target gene, in the vector, we add some other elements as well. So as you can see, just to the next to the TK gene, we have the neo R gene. Okay. Then you have the HB1 and the HB2. Now what is HB1 or what is HB2? They are nothing but homologous regions. Okay. These homologous regions or homologous sequences are where the site-specific homologous recombination is going to occur. When the recombination will occur between this, this segment will get integrated over here. Okay. So the neomycin TG gene will come here. Can you see this? So whatever gene you want to add or you want to delete, you put it in between this homologous recombination regions. Okay. If it is in the region, then it will get integrated into the chromosome. Then you can also observe that outside this, you find some TK gene. So now TK gene is the thymidine kinase gene, which is taken on from the HSV virus, okay, herpes simplex virus. And you have neo R gene, which is 
basically neomycin resistance gene okay so now once again i will recap in the vector what we have in the vector you have the tk genes you have the hb genes and you have the neomycin gene now the hb genes are where homologous recombination will occur whatever gene you want to add or you want to it wanted to be deleted you have to put it into the tb1 since we are discussing about knockout we want to delete that gene so whatever gene you want to delete you put it in between this homologous region right and along with that in the region between the regions along with the target gene we put the neomycin resistance gene and outside the region we have the tk gene that is the thymidine kinase gene okay that is from the hsv virus now you may be thinking why do we need this neomycin gene and why do we need the tk gene so both the neomycin gene and the tk gene basically are the selectable marker genes now obviously after carrying out the knockout we want to see whether our knockout has been done successfully or not is the gene really been knocked out so for that we need the selectable marker gene now there are two selectable marker gene one is responsible for positively selecting gene selecting and the other one is the negatively selecting gene now what is the meaning of positive selection positive selection means presence of that particular marker will ensure that the cell lives okay and negative selection means if the marker is present presence of marker means that the the organism or that cell is going to die okay the example of the positively selecting gene is the neo r gene okay so it's the neo r what does it do it provides resistance to a compound called as g418 so it provides g418 resistance whereas for the negative selection the compound that we use is or sorry yes compound that provides the gene resistance i will write it down over here mm, which color let's select the red only for the negative we will use the tk gene that is the thymidine kinase now if any cell has the thymidine kinase gene it will produce thymidine kinase and that will lead to sensitivity to the antiviral that is gan ciclovir okay so if there is a tk gene it is going to produce thymidine kinase which will lead to its sensitivity to the gan cyclovir and that cell will die it will not be able to survive okay so we have two selectable marker genes neomycin gene and the tk gene positive selection means if the gene is present the cell will survive negative selection means if the gene is present the cell will die so if neomycin resistance gene is present it will be able to grow in presence of the compound g418 if the tk gene is present it will produce thymidine kinase and will not be able to survive because it will be sensitive to the antiviral gan ciclovir okay now let us come back to our example now in this example as i was telling you this is an example of homologous recombination or site specific integration okay that means that this is a specific integration the gene is in getting integrated in the right place okay so as you can see there is homologous recombination this gene has come here and it is knocked out so now what does this mean this means that this construct along with the target gene has the neomycin resistance gene but it does not have the tk gene can you see the tk gene anywhere no because it has properly integrated over here right but if you look at the non specific integration which we also call as a non homologous recombination what you will observe you will see that the recombination is not taking place at the homologous region it is taking place somewhere else right somewhere else it is non specific 
so somewhere else only there is recombination happening is this useful to us no because there is not going to be any deletion everything will be added into the chromosome can you see everything as it is as come here this is the neo r this is the target gene this is the homologous region homologous region and the tk gene correct so if there is non homologous recombination you will have both the genes tk gene and the neomycin resistance gene so now you must be wondering how is this all helpful so let us try to understand that part i want you all to pay attention okay now let us talk about the case where there is homologous recombination or there is proper integration or proper integration now see if there is a proper integration what will the construct have what will the chromosome have it will have the neomycin r gene but it will not have the tk gene why is that so because the neomycin gene was gene was inside the homologous region whereas the tk gene was present outside understanding so therefore it will not have the tk but have the neomycin therefore such kind of cells that are neomycin positive neomycin resistance but don't have the tk will grow in gan cyclo with sorry will grow in g418 because it has the resistant gene so it will grow in g418 and if you add these cells to the if you add gan cyclovir to these cells still these cells will survive why will they survive because they will not make thymidine kinase if they don't make the thymidine kinase they will not be sensitive to gan cyclovir so homologous recombination will ensure that the cells will survive in both compounds they will survive in both gan cyclovir as well as in g418 right let us talk about the non homologous recombination or which we also call as the non specific integration now if the integration is non specific we see that everything gets copy pasted into the chromosome that means it will have neomycin resistance gene it will also have the tk gene that means it is going to produce the thymidine kinase right now if such a cell which is neomycin resistant gene it has it also has the tk what will happen it will be able to grow in g418 because it has the resistance gene however when you add the gan cyclovir it will not be able to survive it will die because if you have the tk gene you will produce thymidine kinase and you will be sensitive to gan cyclovir so those cells that have had non specific recombination will get selected at g418 will survive in g418 but will not grow in gan cyclovir and therefore you will be able to select only those that have the gene so what is the sequence first after carrying out the recombination no once the recombination is done what we do is we do positive selection how do we do positive selection by using g418 those cells that have the neomycin r gene will survive okay now if it if there has integration that is happened non homologous non specific or specific it will still have the g418 resistance why because in both cases we see that the neo r gene is present so therefore those cells will be positively selected that have undergone integration so positive selection means if undergone recombination maybe specific recombination site specific or not specific any which ways it will have neomycin r and it will survive okay it will survive now after this what we do is we do negative selection now in negative selection tell me what will happen you will add add gan cyclovir 
right now those cells that had specific recombination will not have the tk minus it will be tk minus it will not have and therefore it will grow whereas those that had non specific recombination will have the tk gene and it will not be able to grow because it will be sensitive to ganciclovir this is the entire funda hopefully you have understood this now let us apply whatever we have learned to solve some questions okay so i will solve three to four questions in my future video so if you have understood this please stick back to see the video at the end of this video i will basically add the next videos link so please do watch that to solve questions if you did not understand scroll back a little and revise this thing again that's it from me for this one i'll see you in my next video bye